वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर नाइन लास्ट फेज ऑफ स्ट्रगल फॉर इंडिपेंडेंस इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट अंडरग्राउंड मूवमेंट एंड द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी वी विल बिगिन दिस चैप्टर विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ the act of 1935 provincial cabinets and crips mission act of 1935 this act made a provision for the british govern indian provinces and princely states to form a federation and according to the act of 1935 the working of british governed provinces will be handed over to the indian representatives if the princely states join the federation then they would lose their autonomy hence they refuse to join therefore the proposal of federal state in the act of 1935 was not brought into practice provincial cabinets the indian national congress was not satisfied with the act of 1935 but still decided to take part in the elections of provincial legislature provided by the act so in the year 1937 elections were held in 11 provinces in the country how many provinces 11 provinces in the country and among these indian national congress gained majority over 8 provinces and came to power in other 3 provinces none of the party could achieve majority and therefore mixed cabinet was formed so after that what happened the cabinet ministers of indian national congress did useful work for the people such as release of political prisoners from the jail introduction of basic education prohibition of liquor measures undertaken to improve condition of the dalits passing of act giving debt relief to the farmers etc so that is all about the provincial cabinets now let's discuss about the crips mission during the second world war england supported america against japan who supported england supported america against japan so the japanese army reached the eastern borders of india the british realized that if japan attacks india then they will need cooperation from the indians hence british prime minister winston churchill sent sir stafford crips to india and in the year 1942 in march he put up a proposal of india in front of the indians but none of the political party was satisfied with this proposal so the indian national congress rejected the proposal since there was no clear mention of the complete independence and since there was no mention of creation of pakistan the muslim league also rejected the crips mission so this is all about the act of 1935 provincial cabinets and crips mission very good morning students in our previous video we have discussed about the act of 1935 provincial cabinets and crips mission now in this video 
वी विल बी गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर एंड द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस अलोंग विद दैट वी विल ऑल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट एंड क्विट इंडिया रिजोल्यूशन लेट एस बिगिन आर डिस्कशन विद द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर एंड इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस The Second World War began in Europe in 1939. The then Viceroy Lord Linlithgow declared that India has joined the war on the side of the British. England claimed that it is fighting to save democracy in Europe. So the Indian National Congress demanded that if the claim was true then england should immediately grant freedom to india but england refused to fulfill his demand and therefore the provincial ministers of indian national congress resigned in november 1939 quit India movement After the Cripps mission the Indian National Congress decided to start an intense movement for attaining the independence and the working committee of the Congress passed a resolution on 14th July 1942 where at Vardha so the resolution demanded that the british rule in india be ended immediately and india should be given independence if this demand was not fulfilled which demand the demand of complete independence if this demand was not fulfilled then the indian national congress want to start a non violent movement for freedom of india so after that we had a quit india resolution on 7th of august 1942 the session of indian national congress was held at gowalia tank that is kranti maidan in mumbai maulana abdul kalam azad was the president of this quit india resolution session the british should leave india this resolution passed by the congress working committee british should leave india this resolution passed by the quit india so by the congress the working committee at vardha was to be finally approved in the mumbai session at kranti maidan so on 8th august the resolution of quit india which resolution resolution of quit india put forth by jawahar lal nehru got passed with great majority it was also decided to start a nation wide non violent agitation under the leadership of mahatma gandhi gandhi ji said every one of you should from this movement onwards that is quit india movement onwards consider yourself a free man or women and behave like a citizen of free india what gandhi ji said every one of you should from this quit india movement onwards consider yourself a free man or woman and behave like a citizen of free india we shall either free india or die in the attempt gandhi ji made an inspirational appeal to the public to be ready to sacrifice with the feeling of do or die very good morning students in our previous videos we have discussed about second world war 
and Indian National Congress, Quit India Movement and Quit India Resolution. Today we will be discussing about beginning of people's movement and underground movement. Let's begin with the beginning of people's movement. The news of arrest of important leaders of Indian National Congress spread out all over the country. The angry mob took out processions at various places. Even though police lati charged and opened firing on the public but still people were not afraid. The agitators attacked some places like jails, police stations, railway stations etc. which symbolized the suppressive policy of British. They tried to take control of government offices. In Maharashtra, the young and old struggled with determination and boundless courage at places like Chimur, Ashti, Yavli, Mahad, Gargoti, etc. and made struggle immortal. Let us know about the individual Satyagraha. The British government was constantly neglecting the demands. Hence what happened? The Indian National Congress decided to start anti-war propaganda. For this, it was decided that instead of a collective movement, every single person should disobey the laws. This was known as individual satyagraha. Acharya Vinoba Bhave was the first satyagrahi of individual satyagraha. He was followed by nearly 25,000 satyagrahis who accepted imprisonment for their participation. Hope students you have understood the concept of individual satyagraha. Do you know children? This inspirational accounts of brave children. The school students also contributed in the freedom movement. At Nandurbar, the school children under the leadership of Shirish Kumar carried out procession holding the tricolor flag. The slogan of Vande Matram was given. The police became furious and opened firing on small children as well. In this firing, Shirish Kumar, Laldas, Dhansuklal, Shashidhar, Ghanasham, these school children became died. Underground Movement At the end of 1942, the public movement got a new turn. The leadership of this movement went into the hands of young socialist activist Jay Prakash Narayan, Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia, Chhotu Bhai Puranik, Achyutra Patwardhan, Aruna Asaf Ali, Yusuf Meher Ali, Sucheta Kripalani, S.M. Joshi, Shiru Bhau Limay, N.G. Gore, Yashwantrao Chavan, Vasandada Patil, Maganlal Bagdi, Usha Mehta, such leaders were in the forefront. The activist disrupted the transport and communication as well as the government machinery by causing the breakdown of railway routes, cutting off telephone line, blowing up bridges and the impact of this movement was seen all over the India, all over the country. Hemukalani in Sindh province 
tried to destroy the railway along with his companies when he received the news of passing of a railway carrying british troops and supplies the court punished him to be hanged to death bhai kotwal's azad dasta in karjat taluka of modern day raigarh district general avriz lal sena in nagpur such groups made the government helpless and witless for months so in mumbai vithal zaveri usha mehta and her com- companions established a secret transmission center named azad radio patriotic songs were sung on it news of agitations in the country were broadcasted on it patriotic speeches were telecasted this gave encouragement to the agitators and such transmission centers operated at kolkata delhi and pune for some period of time very good morning students in our earlier video we have discussed about beginning of people's movement and underground movement today we'll be discussing about establishment of parallel government importance of quit india movement and indian national army that is azad hind sena let us talk about establishment of parallel government do you know students what exactly the establishment of parallel government means at some places in the country british officers were driven out and the people's government was established these are called parallel government parallel government were formed in the district of midnapur in bengal balia and azamgarh in uttar pradesh and purnia in bihar in satara district of maharashtra in the year 1942 kranti sinha nana patil brought an end to the british government and established parallel government at kondal under the leadership of kranti agrani gd alias bapu lad tufan sena was established through its medium collection of taxes maintenance of law and order punishment to the criminals such work was done by the parallel government under this tufan sena people started accepting the verdict passed by the people's court appointed by the parallel government and opposition to money leaders prohibition on liquor spread of literacy opposition to caste distinctions many such constructive work was done by this government due to it the parallel government became a source of inspiration for the public now let's talk about the importance of quit india movement in the year 1942 this quit india movement took up the form of a nation wide agitation to fulfill the objectives of gaining independence lakhs of indians made unlimited sacrifices many sacrificed their lives and the number of people participating in the struggle was so huge that even all the prisons in the whole of the country were not enough to contain them the patriotic songs composed by sane guru ji rashtra sant tukdo ji maharaj and others increased the enthusiasm of the agitators this nation wide movement is also called august kranti indian national army 
दैट इज आजाद हिंद सेना नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस took phenomenal efforts for gaining independence of india and on eastern borders of india thousands of indians stood in readiness to fight against the british all these soldiers belong to azad hind sena netaji subhash chandra bose was their leader and subhash chandra bose was an important leader of the indian national congress as well so he graced the position of president of congress twice and as per his opinion while england was engaged in the second world war the indians should take advantage of it and make the movement more intense if necessary india should seek the help of enemies of england but there arose difference of opinions between him and other senior leaders of congress what the result of that as a result of that subhash chandra bose resigned from the position of president to place his views in front of the people he founded a party known as forward block through his speeches netaji appealed to the indians to revolt against the british rule and due to it the government imprisoned him subhash chandra bose went on fast unto death in the prison due to which the british government interned him in his residence from there he escaped in this guys and in april 1941 he reached germany and there he founded the free india center from the berlin radio station in germany he appealed to the indian people to join in an armed struggle and during this period ras bihari bose invited subhash chandra bose to japan very good morning students in our earlier video we have discussed about establishment of parallel government importance of quit india movement and indian national army today we'll be discussing about formation of the indian national army achievements of the indian national army and revolts of the indian navy and air force let's talk about formation of the indian national army ras bihari bose was staying in japan since the year 1915 he had organized the indian patriots living in the countries of southeast asia and established the organization named indian independence league in the early part of the year 1942 Japan conquered the territories in the Southeast Asia which were controlled by the British thousands of indian soldiers and officers in british army there fell into the hands of japan ras bihari bose with the help of captain mohan singh formed a battalion of this indian prisoners of war and it was named as indian national army called it as azad hind sena later netaji subhash chandra bose led the indian national army and in the year 1943 in october netaji established azad hind government in singapore shahanawaz khan jagannath bhosle dr lakshmi swaminathan Guru Baksh Singh Dhillon Prem Kumar Sehgal were his chief associates Captain Lakshmi Swaminathan was the commander of Rani of Jhansi regiment Netaji appealed to the Indian people you give me blood i will give you independence achievements of indian national army In November 1943 Japan conquered Andaman and Nicobar Islands and handed them over to Azad Hind government 
नेताजी रिनेम देम एज शहीद एंड स्वराज रिस्पेक्टिवली इन द इयर 1944 इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी कैप्चर द अरक्कन प्रोविंस इन म्यांमार पोस्ट ऑन द ईस्टर्न बॉर्डर ऑफ आसाम वेर कैप्चर्ड एंड इन द सेम पीरियड द कैंपेन ऑफ इम्फाल रिमेन इनकम्प्लीट बिकॉज जपान स्टॉप्ड हेल्पिंग द इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी बट इन एडवर्स सर्कमस्टांसेस सोल्जर्स ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी वेर डेडिकेटली फाइटिंग बट इन द सेम पीरियड जपान एक्सेप्टेड डिफिट सो ऑन एटीन ऑफ ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी फाइव सुभाष चंद्र बोस डाइड इन अ प्लेन एक्सीडेंट on this background the soldiers of indian national army had to lay down their arms thus ended the thrilling phase of the indian national army later on the british government charged the officers of indian national army with treason pandit jawahar lal nehru bhola bhai desai tej bahadur sapru these expert lawyers defended them but the military tribunal held the officers guilty and they were sentenced to life imprisonment therefore there was severe unrest against the british government in the minds of indian people finally the british government had to suspend the punishments given by the military tribunal after that you can see the revolts of this indian navy and air force the navy and air force soldiers with the inspiration from the indian national army caused discontent against the british government and it burst out on the british warship talwar in mumbai on 18th february 1946 the soldiers unfurled the tricolor flag on the british warship and they raised the slogan against the british government so the british government sent army to open fire on the naval soldiers the rebels also made counter attack with firing the workers and common people extended their support to the naval soldiers and finally with the mediation of sardar vallabh bhai patel the naval soldiers laid down their arms to support the uprising of naval soldiers the air force officers from delhi lahore karachi ambala meerut went on strike and these revolts were a clear indication that the sentiments of discontent against the rulers had reached a climax in this way the period between 1942 to 1946 shook the foundation of british power in india through the quit india movement the severe discontent of indian people against the british was expressed army navy and air force was the backbone of british power they were also now opposing the british and due to these incidents the british rulers realized that they will not be able to empower india for a long period of time thank you